Scratch my neck. Scratch my neck. That's the good stuff. Oh. Hi. Welcome to another edition of Vlogmas. I got Levi here eating a bully stick. Hope the chewing noises aren't too much for you. If they are, don't watch this video. This is an all about Levi video. Mm. I have a little bit of a list here, so if I look over, that's what I'm looking at. I'm not feeling super great today, but I really wanted to get this video up for you guys. I'm sweating, I am miserable, I haven't washed my face in two days, I haven't even brushed my teeth today, I smell like a garbage can, but you know what? This stuff makes me happy. Let's start where I was in my life when I decided that it was time for a full-time service dog. It was like the beginning of 2015. I retired my previous service dog, Daisy, and I was really distraught. I hadn't left the house in six months to a year, and I didn't know how sick I was physically and I was just coming to the realization of how sick I was mentally at the time. I originally got him just to be a psychiatric service dog. When I found his breeder, they're like the most notable golden retriever breeder in Central Florida. In June 2015, I was really sick. I It was like the biggest deal in the world for me to leave the house and go visit the breeder. I was so nervous that I was in tears like all the way there because I couldn't have my other dog with me. Like I said, it was just a huge, huge deal for me. I got there and I met Levi's dad and he was like just this like big fluffy square-headed chill guy he had drool everywhere and he was just like <sighs> like that i fell in love with him instantly he just had this really chill personality and stood still was just a really sweet dog and i met his mom and she was more athletic looking more american looking his dad was more english looking english golden retrievers have blocky heads, gold or light fur, they're not usually red. They have fluffy, thick coats, and they are more stocky in build. And American Golden Retrievers are what most American people are used to seeing, especially when they see Levi, because they go, oh my god, he's so big. I'm like, he's really not that big, he's breed standard. His mom, she was really intelligent and her eyes were darting everywhere and she was super interested in me. She was so smart. She was just like on top of everything. And she had a slender build, a sleek reddish coat, a small head. I just had this gut feeling that those were the parents that I wanted for my service animal because one was too chill and one was out of control, like super ADD. So I knew that that together would make a really, might make a really good service dog. Why did I go with a breeder? In instead of just going to the pound and getting a rescue. Um, I have two dogs that are rescues and I have two dogs that are purebred and the purebred dogs are my service animals. In July of 2015, Levi was born and he was so adorable. The first time we met when he was five weeks old, I just knew that we were meant to be together. It's like just an odd thing to describe. Like when I held him in my arms for the first time, he was just licking my face like crazy. Two weeks later, when he was seven and a half weeks old, I brought him home. Look who I got! This is Levi! He's so cute! Aww. He's being such a good boy in the car. And he was the most hellish puppy on the planet oh my god he was the hardest puppy to crate train he was so annoying like he would bark in the crate for hours and hours and hours and he still he likes his crate but he does not like to be locked in it and i think part of the reason is that he doesn't want me to be alone because he knows that his job since day one he's just had this sense of duty it's hard for him to be locked up somewhere knowing that I can't survive on this planet by myself. His current weight is 85 pounds. When he had his surgeries, he dropped down to about 80, 78 pounds because he got out of shape and he lost he lost some muscle weight. His breed is 
full golden retriever, I know that with 100% positivity. Breeds that people mistake Levi for are often Newfoundlands, um, St. Bernard golden retriever mix, golden retriever Labrador mix. The blocky head makes him look confusing to people. I'd say he's like 95% breed standard. He's gold in color. He looks red in here because my walls are red and he has a very typical golden retriever temperament. Now why did I choose a male golden retriever over a female golden retriever? People ask me this all the time and I had a female lab and the only problem I had with her really was that she was overly protective and possessive of me and so I couldn't bring her to places that were like high risk environments with a lot of distraction because I would be afraid that she would like hurt someone or at least snap at them and like that's illegal. You cannot have a service animal that is aggressive in the United States anyway. A service animal cannot be for protection. It's totally 100% against the law. I did a lot of research and I found that male golden retrievers are very docile, they're very tolerant, um, so I was worried that I would get one and he just like wouldn't care about me and he would just be too chill, but as you can see, I lucked out with this little guy. His original planned tasks when I first got him and first started to um, train him, now pause. I learned how to train a service animal through experience and through reading books and through just also I'm just gonna come right out and say it I'm the kind of person that I'm just naturally good at training dogs. Just I have the patience, I have the intuition, I have this like unspoken communication with the animal um, and they do with me. It's really hard to explain, um, but I just feel like I'm naturally cut out for training dogs. And I also am someone who's very proactive and I never let a training opportunity pass me by. I will drop everything I am doing to make sure that he is confident in what he's doing. Um, and I think that not everybody has those skills naturally. And also training a service animal is a 24 seven job for at least two years. I think so many people think that they'll just get a dog and they'll just automatically learn how to do all these things and that's not true we work I mean I still work with him we worked every single day every waking moment and I made every single thing into a training opportunity like going to the bathroom I made that into a training opportunity like taking him um, to the other end of the house I turned that into a training opportunity like the, how do you think I taught him how to bring pills to me back to unpause his original planned tasks were anxiety alert interruption alert slash interruption depressive episode interruption dissociative episode interruption and at the time when I got Levi that's all I needed in comparison to his current tasks and I can break them all down but I'll, I can just like give you an example of each one as I break it down he does counterbalancing and bracing I lose balance really easily because of my orthostatic intolerance orthostatic intolerance is blood pressure and heart rate fluctuation. I don't have POTS, but my adrenal fatigue from my Lyme disease, Epstein-Barr virus, blah, blah, blah. If you want to know all about that stuff, go watch my chronic illness journey videos. Because of those things, I need him to be able to catch me when I fall, basically. Like, literally catch me when I fall. The next thing is fatigue alert slash crash alert. He did this so well the other day at Disney in my Epcot vlog. He basically will tell me when I'm going to have a major crash. Crash being defined by I can't get up, I can't hold my head up, I will just basically turn into a vegetable thanks to Lyme disease and myalgic and stuff myelitis. He's doing that really well lately and I don't really have the time in this video to tell you how I train each one of these but just like message me, let me know, comment here what tasks you would like me to go over how to teach or how I taught him because I would love to help other people learn how to do it. Nina, my god, bye. Back to the video. Now, he also will bring my pills to me. My mom is my caregiver and she makes my pills up in the kitchen and then he will take them from her in the kitchen and bring them back to me in my room and so she doesn't have to come back here and disturb me if I can't like interact with someone or I can't put up with noise. His next task that he uses a lot is Hey, thanks for watching Vlogmas Day 12. Click the link below to learn about the rest of Levi's tasks and his knee surgeries.